Hello guy welcome back to my channel YouTube speaking news. Today I have good news for share to everyone. The all new 2022 Range Rover not to be confused with the outgoing model, which is also a 2022 is redesigned from the ground up with updated styling, new tech features, and luxury touches. The outgoing generation Range Rover, which is also a 2022 model, and on sale for the time being, receives few changes for 2022. The diesel V6 and plug-in hybrid P400E models have been discontinued from the new Range Rover lineup, leaving the turbocharged inline-6 and the supercharged V8 as the only powertrain options. Buyers can now also add a more robust cabin air ionization system as well. Land Rover hasn't yet released a detailed list of the new Range Rover's standard and optional features, but we'd recommend opting for the mid-range autobiography model, which will undoubtedly add several sought-after items that luxury buyers will appreciate. For example, the autobiography comes standard with a 1600-watt Meridian stereo system featuring headrest-mounted speakers and active noise cancellation. The Range Rover will be offered in both a short and long wheelbase body stock style, and we suggest going for the latter since it creates room for a third row of seats and a more generous cargo area. When we find out more about how each of the Range Rover's trim levels will be equipped, we'll update this story with more details. At launch, the new Range Rover will be available with either a 395 HP turbocharged inline-6 with a 48-volt hybrid system or a new 523 HP twin-turbo 4.4-liter V8 engine. The entry-level hybrid powertrain is available only on the base SE trim, but the V8 is optional on the SE and standard on the autobiography and first edition models. Land Rover says a 434 HP plug-in hybrid option will join the lineup for 2023 and will offer up to 62 miles of electric-only driving. An all-electric model will be available starting in 2024 and a high-performance SV model is said to be in the cards possibly with a more powerful version of the twin-turbo V8. When we have a chance to test drive the new Range Rover, we'll update this story with driving impressions. Meanwhile, the outgoing Range Rover, which buyers may still find lurking on a few dealers' lots, might be a relative bargain. While EPA estimates have not yet been announced for the new Range Rover, we expect the new model will adhere closely to the outgoing model's fuel economy numbers. The base hybrid powertrain should deliver around 18 mpg city and 23 mpg highway, while the V8 model will come in slightly lower in both categories. When we find out more about the Range Rover's fuel economy, we'll update this story with details. Like the outgoing generation Range Rover, the new model offers a plush interior decked out with rich leathers and woods, but buyers who want a more sustainable cabin can opt for a new leather-free option which subs in wool or other textiles. The interior can be arranged to seat 4, 5, or 7 depending on configuration and wheelbase. An optional motorized divider for the cargo area helps keep things from moving around too much during travel, and the Range Rover's split rear liftgate can be used as convenient and comfortable seating for outdoor events. All models receive a new 13.1-inch curved infotainment display with Land Rover's latest PIDI Pro interface. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are both standard, and the system also receives Amazon's Alexa Voice Assistant. Other standard features include in-dash navigation, wireless smartphone charging, Sirius XM satellite radio, and a 13.7-inch digital gauge display. A rear seat entertainment system with dual 11.4-inch displays is available, as is a Meridian stereo system with 35 speakers. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel for receiving the news that you see first. Goodbye see you at the next video.